Welcome to this information series on rabbit control and monitoring. Rabbits are Australia's most costly vertebrate pest, causing over $200 million in lost agricultural production every year. We know that as few as nine rabbits can eat as much as one fine wool merino weather. It only takes one rabbit per football field sized paddock to prevent the regeneration of native plants and seedlings. The more rabbits there are, the worse the environmental damage becomes. On an environmental scale, rabbits impact on 304 species of Australian plant and animal. This includes 24 critically endangered species, including the pygmy possum, the orange-bellied parrot and the ballerina orchid. In the 1950s, the first biological control agent, Myxoma virus, was released and caused a reduction of rabbit populations of up to 98% across the country. However, over time, these rabbits have become resistant to myxoma and we had to introduce additional agents to improve the control of rabbits. In 1995, a biological control agent known as RHDV or Khaleesi virus, the Czech strain, was released and controlled rabbit populations up to about 98% in the drier regions of the country. However, in the cooler, wetter regions, it was not so successful. Now, after almost a decade of research, we are ready to release an additional strain of Khaleesi virus, which was identified in Korea and known as the K5 strain, into Australia's rabbit population. This will be the first time in 20 years that a new biocontrol agent has been released into the rabbit population. This release has gained immense community support, with over 700 sites across the country participating in the release. This series of training videos will help you prepare for the release and how to monitor your rabbit population, but most importantly, how to follow up on the release with conventional control. We know that biological control is not the silver bullet that we need to remove rabbits from the population. It is only a tool to add to the toolbox. So make sure that you follow the instructions on these following videos that it guide you how to undertake conventional control following the release using best practice so that you can get the most out of the release and really impact your rabbit population. We hope you enjoy these videos and we look forward to your participation.